Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim here. So today we are going to continue with the next step of the recon process, where we are going to try to find the open ports on the IP list we found in the previous episode. So this is the stage that we are going to cover today. So I have used three tools as I talked in my previous video, and those are Mascan, Rustscan, and Nabu. So I will be showing a comparison of all those. So I have I have those already run. The output is already there for uh, all of these tools on the three servers that I have. But I would be going through like a walkthrough of all these and what are the different options that you could use. So that would be quite handy. I also have the like uh, markdown written for these like installation instructions and what are the things that you need to take care of and that would like easier. Uh, use of these tools so these are all yes so i will be continuing with that and so yeah before i start with that like we need to clean the ips that we already have so let me come to the terminal so this is the mass scan installation thing so these are the if you run these four commands so you would have the mass scan installed so the, let's edit from that top so here is the mask and uh, binary so I just need to move this into the user local bin so that I could access it from anywhere and after I have done it I would come back to the cleaning IP thing so let's come back to the cleaning IP thing mask and, yeah. so, so this is the directory that we created on 8th August and we have this uh, ips.txt here and this is the clean ip so clean ip is what we you you would get after you have run this script so i'd be talking about the script as well and what are what is the clean ip that i am talking about first let me show the output in here so these are the ips and some of these ips those belong to cloudflare and those are publicly known like if i do who is and the IP name so you could find that it belongs to Cloudflare so uh, you have a predefined list of Cloudflare IPs on their website as well so if you want to see it as a text file so this is IP4 addresses and the ranges are all mentioned here so 104.16.0.0.12 so the whole subnet is this and for the same goes for the IPv6 list so this is a text file from where you could fetch it and like generate a range for that so in this small script I am doing the same so I am getting IPs from the like Cloudflare's recent IP because these might change over the course of some period like maybe a month or two months later so it's better that every time you try you run this clean IP you fetch it from Cloudflare's source so here you get the text file you create a IP range and then you create an IP network like there's a CIDR range kind of thing so that you could easily check the whether this IP belongs in this range or not so that's what I'm doing in here this is for skipping the empty file and all that so the usage goes like this like you uh, do a input file like python then script name the input file path input file would be the ips.txt and the output we would be like hacker1.com.cleanips.txt so that's what I have given so if you are running it from a different directory you I would suggest that you enter the whole path of this current directory like the current path is root tools results hacker1.com slash and whatever it is so that's about clean IPs so this is done because uh, if you see the clean IP file so clean IP file is like only like three four five only six IPs whereas in this there are around 12 to 16 IPs I guess so it would make sense like if you skip those IPs which you already know like you don't need to scan for those so yeah so coming back to the mass scan thing so if you have to do a mass scan so this is the command that you would need to run so mass scan hyphen il hyphen il is the input file input IP file so here I would give hacker1.com dot clean ips dot txt and p1 hyphen 65535 is like port range from 1 to 65535 rate 10,000 is 10,000 ports per second it is going to scan and then the output file is like suppose I, I 
I want to give hacker one dot txt dot mask cam. Hacker one dot com dot mask cam dot txt. And since it's already there, so uh, I would append a dot new. So so you could see that um, it does very fast scanning and yeah. So meanwhile, let's uh, go through the further documentation and the uh, other tools. So this is the mask scan um, GitHub repo. I would give the link of this in the description. Then the second tool is Rust scan. So Rust scan, what it does is it covers both of these in a single tool. Like you could have an option, like a quiet option is there. Using that you could just get the output of the ports, but by default it covers both of these. So first it scans for the open ports and then it passes on those to nmap. However, I uh, one issue I found that the like the usage was not very easy right now it's still like a lot of development is being done here but its usage is not very easy in the sense that for like let me show you what i'm talking about so the first thing is that you have to give the ip as a comma separated list like unlike mask can where you just like you could pass a file and even in nabu like here it's there okay let so in Nabu also you could just pass a host list and it, it could do that. So it could automatically scan all those lists of files. Like uh, host.txt, yeah. So HL and host.txt. So you just need to like pass the txt file that you already got from the clean IPs file. So that was pretty convenient. Also the output for, for this was not very good. Like if I just wanted to get the ports, it was just printing like this. And then you had to corroborate as to which IP was in the first and then which IP is for the second. So like if these ports are open for IP, you need to look on which like index it was there. Like if it's the third one, then you have to figure out which, uh, whether the, which was the third IP. So the output was not very appealing to me. And whereas in Mascan as well as in Nabu, you could like directly output it into a file and that would be way better. Like if I do this, so so you could see like it's a grippable thing so if you want to look for only port 80 so you could just do grip I uh, so port 80 um, I think space should be given that would be easier okay so yeah see port 80 as well as port 8080 also so if if I did this only port 80s would be there so it's way easier to do this here. So that was a thing that I found that it was lacking in Rust scan. Probably it's since it's an active development, it might get that covered as well. But the good thing is that it covers both of these in a single package. And yeah, so if you could see that this was the earlier scan which I did without the quiet option. So in this second, you could see, so this is the second scan here. I passed the hyphen Q. So hyphen Q is for the quiet option. So in this it only prints the uh, output only the ports no nmap is done however the earlier one was this so here you could see that there's the nmap output and a lot of things was going on there right so yeah mass scan is done let's come to uh, now rust scan so for installing rust scan the recommended way is to use docker and that's also there because there's a thing called upper limit or u limit for open files so open file descriptors so if you are scanning like 65000 ports per second so it needs to have 65000 file descriptors open and it could it like it has a custom modified docker container for that so if you just pull the docker container of rust can you would have like you don't have to set that u limit variables and all the other intricacies you don't have to take care about that so those would automatically be covered and they mentioned that it is the recommended way of installing rust scan this is because it has a high open file descriptor limit as i talked about it works on all systems regardless of os exactly and it it is the latest one and no need to install rust cargo or nmap yeah right so you don't have to install nmap because if you are not using docker you have to install nmap rust and a lot of things would be there so i would suggest go with this one so that's what the command is here so before you install that you need to have docker installed 
so i have just copied these commands from here like you could go to a docker and you could follow these commands uh, these are the same commands i have copied there and like pasted it at once then uh, if once you run this so you you would get the uh, help file of this so if i show you so i think i got disconnected from the second server let's connect back so iphone h is like the scan then the help file is there so to avoid typing this command again and again uh, i would suggest that you add this alias to a bash rc or zsh rc if you are using zsh shell so go to the bottom of the file and just um, like put this there so you need to reload this because it won't be uh, loaded there so if you now type rust scan hyphen h so you would see the same output right so instead of typing this again and again or copying it so it's better that you just do rust scan and hyphen h so it's not like path but it's similar to like aliasing things so i showed the output already like if you pass it hyphen q and then you have to pass the ips in a comma separated list hyphen t is for the timeout like how how long the scan would be waiting there hyphen bad hyphen b is batch size like 15000 ports per like per second like in this uh, mask and it was rate so rate was like 10000 i guess yeah so 10000 so here i was passing 15000 you could also pass 65000 and it would scan all the 65000 ports per second and if you want the nmap output as well so for that mm, this is the command like so this is the command so hyphen b 15000 then hyphen hyphen and hyphen a so hyphen a is the nmap input so could see it here so this is what i copied and like ran the command there so that's pretty much about rust scan now let's come to the nabu so nabu was quite convenient to use and let me show you the screen where i was okay again got disconnected <laughs> So installing Nabu is quite easy. Uh, if like you could install it from source, which I always recommend, but I was facing some difficulty here, so I used the binary approach. And the binary approach is basically downloading the binary from the like Git release pages, and then extracting by running these commands. So you could download the AMD64 tar file and put it on your server, and then like run these commands, and you could have Nabu running. so yeah so you could pass the host as well like if you don't want to scan for or don't want to do the ip scan so you could just pass hyphen host hackerone.com so but i would recommend that you pass the ips because that would ensure that all the ip for uh, uh, what do you say for all the ips for hackerone.com is being scanned and also you could have a control that you are only passing the clean ips so that it doesn't take a lot of time like here it like it picks uh, one of the ips but not all the ips so what i did was i passed the host list here so if i uh, screen i can have so yeah let me go above so yeah so this is the command that i ran nabu hyphen ports hyphen hl uh, okay yeah nabu hyphen ports full full is like if you want to do a full scan you could specify custom ports as well but since i was doing the full scan in on all these tools so i wanted to do a fair comparison there so i did a full scan of all the 65000 535 ports you could do a top 1000 by default it does a top 100 port scan and then i passed the hl is for higher, like host list so host is dot txt contains all the ips that i got from the clean ip file and then it started scanning all those ips there so it took like a very less amount of time compared to others so instead of um, outputting it into a file i just saw the verbose output here but you could easily do that here as well like hyphen o output dot txt and it would uh, add those output there but yeah it didn't did this step and we went looking for doing that so it's 
good we would be running nmap like manually or we could use rust scan for that as well so that's pretty much all about this i hope this was concise and to the point hope you like the video if you like press the like button and share the video with your colleagues subscribe the channel press the bell icon thank you have a nice day